Julie Woon and on behalf of Sam W Auto Performance, thank you for joining us here today for a double celebration as we have not one but two of the most exhilarating and powerful 718 models ever created to date that will surely put a smile on the faces of sports car enthusiasts. Welcome to the premiere of the new 718 Cayman GT4 and the new 718 Spider. We will have three of our resident experts to take you through the concepts of these new models, the design language and of course the performance and numbers that are synonymous with the Porsche brand. Today we have with us Chris in the house. Hello Julie. Hey, nice to see you again. Good Looking you good. Too. You too. So what do you have in store for us today? Well tonight we're launching two new performance members to the 718 series. One is a GT, the other is a Roadster but with all of the GT goodies. But each has its own distinct personality. Now before we get to the details, can you tell us a little bit about this special place that we're doing the launch right now? Sure. Well. Normally for a GT model, we would be launching it in its natural habitat, which would be out on the racetrack. Mm -hmm. But tonight, we're in a place which is very special to me, which is in the workshop at Porsche Center Ara Damansara. Now, this Porsche Center Ara Damansara is new and it hasn't been launched just yet. So stay tuned because the announcements will be made very, very soon. This is just a sneak preview of what's to come. That's right. And I'm sure many of our supporters out there are missing our track days. But considering the great progress that's been made against the flattening of the curve and the gradual relaxation of the control measures, we could be back at the track relatively soon. I absolutely agree with you and I'm sure plenty of our track day supporters are anticipating to get back out there and just burn some serious rubber. I know I for sure am looking forward to sitting behind the wheels of these two models behind us, even as a passenger. For sure. And either of these two cars that we have here tonight will be right at home, whether it be on the track or the road. Mm -hmm. The new 718 Cayman GT4 and 718 Spyder are absolutely stunning. And for the first time ever, both of these models share the same technical platform. But the two models are fundamentally different concept, each with its own distinctive character. Now besides the glaringly obvious, one being a coupe and the other having a soft top, perhaps you can share with us what are the significant similarities as well as differences that we can look forward to. Well, both of these models share a fully redesigned 4-litre flat-six naturally aspirated engine. This engine produces 420 newton metres of torque and 420 horsepower. They both have a six-speed manual gearbox, GT chassis system, GT brakes, ultra-high performance tyres, but we really have two different animals. All right, let's start with the GT4, shall we? Sure. Well, as you can see, the GT4 definitely has a motorsport look and feel to it. This car makes no compromises. It has razor sharp performance, lightning quick reactions, and easily handles anything that's thrown to it, whether it be on the track or the road. This car is geared more towards the racing end of the spectrum and it's for those of us who have petrol running through our veins. Wow, it sounds like the GT4 is all set to get our pulse racing, our adrenaline rushing, and that's not all. We still have the 718 Spider to talk about. That's right. Well, the 718 Spider is a roadster which embodies all of the essential elements of the sports car. Outstanding performance, 
emotional open top driving and excellence in design. The car leans more towards the purest end of the spectrum and fits in nicely with other historic Porsche cars like the 550 Spyder and the RS 60 718 Spyder from the 1960s. The new 718 Spyder receives a significant bump in engine performance over the predecessor and the new GT suspension safely transmits this to the road, giving a thrilling ride. Both of these cars appeal on a very primal level and deliver incredible adrenaline. And both of these cars can be considered perfectly irrational. But we all need some fun in life, right? I think you said it best, Chris. Irrational seems like the right kind of word to describe a 420 horsepower with GT performance for everyday driving. Now, one thing is for certain, it is superb in the looks department. And I think it's time for us to find out a little bit more about the design language of these two models. Now, Winston is a familiar face in Porsche Malaysia and he knows everything that needs to be known about Porsche. And he's here to share with us more about the design language of these two new models. Am I right? That's right, Julie. Both the GT4 and Spider runs on the same platform and is fitted with the GT chassis but built for two different driving characteristics where the GT4 is built for the racetracks and the Spider is fitted with the GT concept for the first time. It doesn't just look good, but everything you see here on the design has a function to it especially focusing towards the downforce that allows you to drive to the limits and keeping the car to the ground with no worries. All right, so let's start with that. Aerodynamics have been improved significantly from every angle that has led to the increase in downforce, as you've just mentioned. So starting from the front, what are the standout features that we should know about? At the first glance, both the Cayman GT4 and the Spider has a more defined and a muscular look with the GT front style apron that giving both cars a sporty look. The overall of the vehicle height sits much lower to the ground, offering a lower drag coefficient with greater downforce at high speed. The front spoiler with the additional spoilers position at the side of the wheel arch transfers the air towards the upwards and also towards the side to create more downforce. The central air intake at the front also optimizes the aerodynamics that channels the air upstream through the upper air outlet and the side Air curtain at the front allows the air to enter towards the low pressure zones at the wheel area here to reduce the air turbulence and also to cool the brakes before directing it back out to the side. So all of these have contributed to better aerodynamics? That's right, Julie. How about the sides? Well, in both of these models, if you can see, it's fitted with 20-inch lightweight alloy wheels and also with ultra-high performance tyres to ensure a maximum grip. As you can see right behind the door here at the side air intake with fins, provides optimum air process that allows you to travel more airs into the mid-engine for a more efficient engine cooling. Oh, fantastic. Let's move on to the rear. Some of the most distinctive features that differentiate both the models are at the rear, including the rear wings, right? Yep, that's right, Julie. Starting with the Spider, as you can see here, this is fitted with the Aerodynamics rear cover and also together with the extendable rear wings. Mm -hmm. From the GT wings that's available in the Cayman GT4, this GD Wings itself provides up to 17 kilograms of downforce at a speed of 200 kilometers per hour. And also available in both of these models, the sporty looking rear diffuser also is fitted for a gluing effect to the road. Well, clearly Porsche has infused the motorsport DNA in both of these models to provide a more dynamic driving experience. But I really wonder, how does it feel like being behind the wheel? Shall we? Let's hop in. Yay! After you. I've been waiting for you to say this a long time. Sitting inside here, I noticed that the 718 interior characteristics are very apparent. And what I like is that everything is easily within reach, just like in a race car. That's right, Julie. Like most 718 models and all Porsche models that we have, all the vehicle's interior cockpit is actually built closer to you that you have a more direct engagement with the car. Where the center console is elevated and the gear lever is actually shorter to give you a better direct response. To resonate the motorsport finish, it comes in black interior package with the GT steering and the motorsport inspired door opening loops. I must say, I love the interior. It's so extravagant and it does have a classic look and feel to it. It is. In a Spider that you're looking at right now, it comes with the optional Spider Classic package resonating to the iconic 550 Spiders. 
that comes with a two-tone leather interior such as the bottle red and black interior with additional Alcantara features on the door panels and the centre console. So for a more classic appeal, the 718 Spider has the Spider Classic package as you've just mentioned. Now how about the GT4? Is there any similar packages available? As the GD4 is built for the racetrack, the optional cross spot package is available that comes with 6-point harness, roll cage and also the portable motorsport extinguisher. Thank you so much Winston. The attention to detail in the interior cabin is immaculate and I think we learned a lot about the design language of these two models. It is time for us to find out about the heart that fuels the performance. So, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much Julie. Hi, Julie. Nice to see you. You're looking so dapper. It's great to see you again. <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> Alright, you know, I'm here to talk to you about the engine and mm -hmm. I realised that both of these models mm -hmm. are powered by the same engine. What can you tell me about it? Let's take a closer look at the drivetrain of these statement makers. Mm -hmm. uh, behind this sports exhaust system is a newly developed 4-litre uh, natural aspirated flat 6 engine. Okay, it is not carried over from the previous GT4, but is derived from the current or the new 911 or the 992 Carrera engine. Certainly, there were several modifications that had to be made, um, like the larger pistons, connecting rods, crankshafts, cylinder head, and valve train, which means this engine now shares the same ball and stroke as the 911 GT3 engine. Now, how does all of this translate to better performance? Well, the power output has been increased by 35 horsepower, up to 420 horsepower, which revs up to 8,000 RPM. The GT4 is now capable of breaking the 300 km per hour barrier. That's pretty fast. Of course, quite a leap from the predecessor model, uh, with more usable power and matches a precise razor-sharp handling performance. You know, those are impressive numbers. Now, how does Porsche Engineering ensure that both of these cars maximise grip and stay glued to the ground? Yeah, a fully adjustable GT chassis, okay, which allows camber, toe, anti-roll bar and ride height can be adapted to suit on-road or track use. Mm -hmm. As mentioned earlier by Winston, the GT chassis sits 30 millimetres lower, okay, uh, than the 718 configuration on the standard 718 configuration and is derived from the GT3 and Cup car while the rear is fitted with a new bespoke axle. Ultra high performance tyre okay, were further developed together with Michelin and Dunlop uh, mainly focusing on the rubber compound and the tread angle okay, to maximise dry grip. Now, with all of this power, safety should also be a priority. How does the driver remain in control, especially in the event of an emergency situation? Ah, okay. So, the brake system in both the GT4 and 718 Spider is highly efficient and is adopted from the 911 GT models for maximum stopping power. The front features a 380mm rotor with 6-piston aluminium monoblock uh, caliper while the rear is a four-piston caliper with a matching rotor size. Right. For the more extreme drivers, the PCCB or Porsche ceramic composite brakes is available as an option as you can see fitted in this particular GT4. Mm -hmm. Porsche Stability Management or PSM further supports the safety topic of, by offering targeted braking intervention, uh, especially under extreme driving conditions, with the objective to provide a high level of fun and confidence to our very passionate Porsche owners. Now, sounds like these two models definitely will evoke a lot of real emotions from those who are seated behind the wheel. And even more so, that these models are only available in manual? That's correct. Okay, the six-speed manual gearbox has been retained for the purists, okay, uh, who likes to be engaged with the car. Okay, a new auto blip button has been added at the centre console. Uh, it was formerly known as a sport button, but the change in name is now more self-explained. Now, for my final question, mm -hmm. I noticed upon walking here just yep. now that the underbody is pretty flat, but there is a curved part at the rear in between the exhaust. Now, what is that? It is true. For the first time, the 718 series features a fully functional flat underbody panel, which generates around 30% of the total downforce at the rear section. When air passes the diffuser under acceleration, this section becomes a vacuum zone, 
which keeps the car planted to the ground like a, like a suction. Mm -hmm. okay? And uh, this was done without negatively affecting the drag coefficient of the vehicle. Yeah. Um, means more downforce, less drag, and in layman terms, increased performance and stability. Well, you said it best. Precision mm -hmm. handling, outstanding grip, with emphasis on performance and driving dynamics. Now, how does all of this translate to minutes and seconds on the clock? We know that numbers are key to the Porsche team and so we're back here with Chris who has all the important numbers that we should take note of especially in terms of lap times. What do you have for us Chris? Well as you heard from Winston and Randy there are multiple improvements across all aspects of both cars. So how do we measure this? The world famous Nürburgring known as the Green Hell has always been the manufacturer's choice to benchmark. Both the new GT4 and the 718 Spyder clocked impressive lap times of 7 minutes and 28 seconds. 17 seconds faster than the previous Spyder and 12 seconds faster than the previous GT4 and 4 seconds faster than my personal favourite, the Carrera GT. Now those are stunning performance metrics that perfectly represent the rich motorsport heritage of Porsche with a perfect balance of form and function. Now I personally believe there is no better way to experience the Porsche sensation than on the racetrack. Wouldn't you agree, Chris? I would, Julie, but we need to remember that taking a Porsche out on the tarmac is definitely an unforgettable experience and that's what we're always trying to achieve with our sports cars and with our track days. But we also need to remember how flexible our sports cars are and how pleasurable they are to drive. A leisurely Sunday drive is just as rewarding even when not using the full potential of the 420 horsepower engine. But it really is fun knowing what you have under the hood can be unleashed at any time. I couldn't agree more. From the looks and sounds of it, both the GT4 and the 718 Spider have much to offer, especially those looking to enter the world of the GT cars. Now, before we wrap things up, one final question. Are these models available in the Porsche showroom right now? Yes, they are. Make an appointment online or at any of our dealer websites or contact our sales consultants at your preferred Porsche centre to arrange a viewing. Do stay tuned for our next event and I hope to see you person in person very soon. So thanks for watching. Thank you, Chris. Thank you everyone for tuning in to the premiere of the new 718 Cayman GT4 and Spyder. A high agility mid-engine sports car perfectly equipped to handle every twist and turn with even more power and performance potential in these new models. Two particularly emotional and powerful range-topping models in the 718 family offering unadulterated driving pleasure for the purists and track enthusiasts. Until we meet again, stay safe. My name is Julie Wood. Good night.